Yeah, hi, I am Krishna Reddy, DevOps Trainer at VQ Software Solutions. Today, Meera Valli will talk about Docker introduction. Hi, everyone. My name is Meera Valli. I have recently completed Docker training from VQ Software Solutions. My trainer is Krishna Reddy, sir. Today, I am going to explain about what is Docker, why Docker, components of Docker, and uh, how many methods we can connect to the container and how many methods we can create the image the first topic is what is docker docker is a containerization platform that uses lightweight operating system by using docker we can virtualize the applications it uses lightweight operating system to create multiple containers and we can run uh, same mul multiple versions of same application within the container docker mainly introduced to avoid the compatible issues environmental issues we deploying our application into the production environment next uh, docker components the first important component is docker client when docker user wants to interact with docker we will connect via docker client next docker hub docker hub is a public repository where we can store all the images by pulling the images we can create the containers next uh, there are two types of public uh, docker repositories one is public uh, docker hub repository second one is private docker hub repository for pub private docker hub repository we have to create the account for that and we have to log in into the docker account to push the, to create and push the images next docker image docker image is a lightweight uh, template uh, which is used to create the container and uh, coming to the container when you run the image container will created all the applications and environments run uh, inside our container next volumes volumes are persisting data generated by docker used by container stored in the volumes in irrespective of our container life cycle our data should be available at any point of time to achieve this we have to use volumes in docker next docker networks docker networks are secure passes through which all the containers communicate with each other docker uh, container connection methods mainly we have two methods one is docker by using docker attach command and docker exec command the first one docker attach command uh, there is a drawback in this command when we connect to the container using docker attach command and we exit from the container our container status should be uh, in exit mode to avoid this we will use uh, detach keys even though if we want to uh, connect to the container using docker attach we will assign the detach keys hyphen hyphen detach hyphen keys equal to control hyphen anything next uh, docker exec by using docker exec we can connect to the container and when we exit the container even though our container is still in up status it, it is in up status and it should not go in stop status in background there is bash background process is there we will con when we connect to the container using docker attach our parent bin bash will be generated when we exit from the container our parent bin bash will get killed that's the reason our container status should be goes into the uh, stop state whereas in exec when we connect to using uh, docker exec if it bin bash addition to the parent bin bash child bin bin also will get created docker pull is the command which is used to create the image docker run is the command which is used to create the container here docker run is the combination of docker create container start the container attach and stop and ifnd is the detach mode uh, when we use detach mode it will connect to the con it will not attach the container and ifn it the interactive terminal uh, to bring the background process to the foreground process we will use ifn it next in docker networks we have mainly three network types uh, docker bridge network host network non network in docker Bri docker bridge is the default network and uh, we can run the multiple containers inside the docker bridge network and we can uh, isolate the docker host docker container in docker host network if if you want to remove the isolation between docker host docker container we will use docker host network and non network you will remove all net all the networking and coming to the main differences between the docker bridge network docker host network. in docker bridge network it has dns it does not have dns capability to overcome this we have to use custom bridge network custom bridge network have uh, dns capability if we want to route the firewall rules then we will use ip tables ip tables are nothing but the default firewall rule settings in our linux mission uh, main differences between docker host network docker bridge network this is all about docker thank you